Hey guys, T12 here, back with another video of Chris Mago. In the previous video, I was being a little toxic. I was being a little toxic against that crew, but he took forever to play, forever to play, and for some reason I knew he was going to beat me, but we kept on playing. But let's see how well we're doing this round. We're starting our phase two, game two. So we actually have a SRAM in this game. I don't get a lot of SRAMs for obvious reasons. SRAMs are not really good at draft. I mean, if you try to go deck burn deck, I guess, I guess it works out maybe, but it's very difficult to pull off because it depends on your RNG guys. I know my brother, my brothers actually have a fantastic SRAM deck. Okay, we don't have don't have the best of cards but okay let's see how well we do oh yes i'll take that because if i summon this vigilante i'll be able to damage at least his dofus by one so i have a feeling that he summoned this monster on a row which has a fake dofus right please tell me what that was just one of your minions oh my word okay maybe ah oh, you know what i should have done i sh i should have summoned the medal i should have summoned medal and destroy the medal basically and that didn't deal one damage because I was protected with a shield. Sometimes it's weird though. Like, I definitely did counter attack there. Considering the card's effect, counter attack should have inflicted one damage on the Dofus there, but. Ugh, that's just how it is, eh? So this card puts the next minion from your deck, costing 4 AP, okay. So these two cards are gonna trade. Whoa, that's my card! Bro! You're using my own cards against me. Put a minion in place. I'm gonna do this. He used two infinite cards there. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what to do? I might as well. If you're wondering why I'm actually summoning so many monsters, it's because I want to use my my Sylvan power. So that will give me at least these. So this is. 4, 4 MP, yes, 4 MP, so I will have pressure. But I'm using quite a bit of cards. Okay, what does this card do? Okay. No threat. Okay, he didn't do anything much this turn. Oh, I wish I, I wish I could have summoned this guy. But anyway, let's move on. Let's push. Right, and we're pushing through. Imagine, imagine I get Grambo next turn, like my next throw is Grambo, and then GG. I like this card, eh? Loot items. Oh my word. Now, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna seed you. I, I didn't, I really didn't want to deal with that. I'm so sorry. I mean, if you're watching this video in the future, I'm so sorry for doing that to you. Okay, one down. Hmm. I mean, 
can I? I don't think I can. Oh no, no, that wouldn't have worked out. I was planning something else, you know. Okay, let's summon Boof. That allows me to draw a card, of course. And yeah, what what else can I do? So I'm gonna sacrifice one of my curse prisms here. So again, like all the games that I've, I've played to uh, well for the last past videos. I mean, I've been just throwing fake dofuses on 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 round one. How annoying can that be? Oh, okay. I still should still be fine. But this guy plays before him. So you'll be able to get a monster back from the game. I mean, this is also weird. Like if you destroy this yellow, you still get the card back. I mean, I just don't understand that. So that means I'm gonna actually use my magma here instead. Yeah. Just so that he doesn't gain any monsters back. I want none of that. Okay. So we're looking good. Yeah. I'm happy. I think this should be a smooth win. Okay, I say smooth and then... He does that shenanigans. I'm gonna sacrifice the one damage, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Really not what I wanted. I don't know how much cards he has. Uh, I have not been counting his curse cards. What? Um, that's his... They just count. They just count. One, two, three, four. That's four lethal, lethal traps, that is. My word. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy a minion. I mean, I have to, right? I have to. Yeah. I can't, I can't afford any more damage to my Dofus. I just can't. I've got to tick up my sleeve though. Oh, <laughs> that's the worst. But should I? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. This guy just he played too many too many of those curse cards and yeah. They just finish him off. Should I how oh, bad should I play this? I mean should I just summon a dragon peak and Let's see how well he defends. And depending on how well he defends, I mean, if he lets this guy destroy the Dofus, then I know one of these are, are the real Dofus. Loved Alien. I do respect him from, for choosing Stram though. Absolutely. That's actually a good move. So I can't play with, I don't play my Dragon Peak over here now. I mean, if I had summoned my giant pig here, we would have traded, and then it would have four HP left. You could have just summoned another monster there. That's yeah. I didn't want to be in that position, so I'd rather have him summon a monster here, and then we trade. Then I should be up the advantage. Oh, yeah, that does. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm still pushing through, guys. I'm still pushing through. And you can't, because it's immovable, you can't even push through. He hasn't just straight a real deficit, so... Oh, smart. Okay. But I still have a trick up my sleeve. I still have it. And here it is. So this allows me to transform everybody into this uh, wild souls. And what I'll do is I just swap it out to the lane and I push through. And I'll gain two curse cards here and it's GG. It's GG, guys. I mean, what, what is he gonna do? Does he have any spells to destroy that monster? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe not. Yeah. I'd, I don't think I should even use a curse card on this Dofus here. Just in case. I don't want to end up wasting. I mean, if we destroy this monster, then I know for a fact this is a real Dofus, and I'd rather invest my curse cards on this Dofus. Or should I, or should I just take the take the chance and see if it's a real Dofus? Considering my luck in the last past games, I mean, it's just. I don't want to risk it, man. Okay, he's just letting his time run out. Okay, so that means GG. Um, I'm just going to do it now because he just let his time run out, so... It's a real toughest. GG! Love, Alien. Well done. He played well, man. Okay, let's jump into the second game, I guess. I mean, the first game went fairly quickly. 11 minutes, well, 18 turns, that's pretty good. Okay, so we up against a Sakria in this game. But the name of player. So he is, well, he's a player that does not have a count, I believe. Um, I don't want any of those cards in mind. Oh yes, okay. Thankfully, I'm getting low AP cost cards. Okay, so let's see what you. I mean, sacks are generally decent. Uh, if we, I mean, if the sack did get a lot of cosmic cards, then yeah, I should lose this game. I'm gonna have to skip one. The question is, is it worth destroying a draw card prism or is it worth destroying a curse prism? I mean, I'm not sure actually. I mean, both has it, the advantages, I guess. That was a good move. Maybe I should have summoned him first and then use the bandit card. Hmm. Okay, that allows him to charge with your shitties, I guess. Oh wait, that is actually beneficial for me because now I have rooted. So I'll lose one. I have one HP remaining. And then I'll be able to push through if he doesn't do anything funny. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a. <laughs> oh, priceless. Priceless. 
I should have known he's gonna do something. I mean, I don't have any other cards to play. Oh well. I guess I'll just do that so that I don't have to worry about him pushing down that lane. Especially when Sakria could have light speed, which will swap, swap two monsters, and I don't like the idea of him getting a bit too close. I did inflict one damage on his stealth as far, and that is another damage. And he, he has no curse cards in his hand. Remember, I destroyed one of his curse uh, prisms, so. Okay. That guy is dead. Lots of chili cards. So far, we both used four cards that went to the grave. Hmm. Yeah, that light speed is still a bit worrying, to be honest. And he has low AP cost monsters. He has no curse cards in his hand, so he has literally five cards left. Oh, what card? What card went to my graveyard? Oh, Gangreed. Yeah, Gangri went to my graveyard. What what was the last spell that went to eat? Oh, Sanguine Armor. Okay. Oof. Can't, can't believe I remember those. Yeah, that's what I was expecting for him to use there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow myself three more HP and then use knowledge of dolls on him. Okay, so yes, this is a little bit dangerous for me. I mean, he has this monster. I mean, if he defends both, and then I still have to deal with this guy over here, Hapu Mage. Okay, inflict one damage, and so which one is he gonna attack? Was it worth it? Oh, nice one. So basically we'll get that spell back to ease and <laughs> And you will get returns and injured allied minion. Oh Okay. He allows me to kill him though. He allowed it. Okay. Let's give him the opportunity to use uh, knowledge of dolls. Does he think I can't push through? Okay, no. <laughs> he's not just gonna... Okay, this guy... This guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Knowledge of dolls? No. Okay. Knowledge of dolls now, right? Surely. He has seven cards up. Man, that upper mage card really came in hand for him. Oh <gasps> no. No way. No way, dude. 
I mean, okay. Might as well, might as well get rid of him. So, not each of dolls now, right? Surely. I destroyed one of his base cards. Come on, use it really out. It's <laughs> making me nervous. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I summoned two monsters. That's very powerful. So you should, you should do something about it. Okay, smart. He's still not using it. Okay, he's waiting for better days. Not sure what better days though, but... Okay, so basically the one lane with three damage, uh, two damage on Dofus. I'm not too concerned about that one. Because I can simply destroy it with uh, curse cards. So, yeah, it depends on which, on which meaning he's going to use the knowledge of dolls. Oh my word. No need. No need for the damage, uh, knowledge of dolls. This guy is just a genius. Hmm. Yeah, that is actually difficult because I'm I'm running out of cards and he's managed to destroy basically all my minions with one card. That's very annoying. So he's thinking that's a good thing. Seven cards. He has no curse cards in his hand. I don't know why this one is 5 AP, showing 5 AP. There's supposed to be 6 AP in my end. Is it because of metal? Let's just see. Okay, it doesn't show him a grave. Okay. I guess we're gonna we're gonna trade. Or are we gonna trade though? I mean, I'll use rooted. Oh. Man. This guy is very annoying. Please use knowledge of dolls now. Okay. Okay, he still has this. So now he has used it. Okay. Happy days. That allowed me to attack one more minion. One more dove is rather. Do I use Gangreed? Yeah. I don't want to end up having to deal with this monster. And this somehow he uses light speed here. Would he use knowledge of dolls on that? And I oh <gasps> you joking. What? 
What is going on? It is real Dofus, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that is actually becoming quite tough. I mean, everybody is playing so serious when the game is... Uh, I mean, I had one quick game of 11 minutes, but this game is like extending that. There is like almost 20 minute game. Oh, wow. And this guy is becoming real, real annoying. Okay. Let's continue, I guess. If I get Grambo. If I do get Grambo. That would be actually a funny thing. Because with Grambo, I'll be able to swap and my minion will push through. That would be interesting to see, but clearly I didn't get that. I mean, I'm a strict my deck. Uh, I don't know if I have the Grambo in my deck. Okay, things are looking good. I mean, I don't know. Oh, well, I know he has um, knowledge of dolls, still, but. But I don't know if he's gonna use it now. He might actually just use it on my jelly and summon another monster to take care of the bubbly. Ah, oh, there's a tough game. He should have at least a curse card. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Like I said. Like I said. Perfectly played out. Nice. I mean, well done. But. But, but, but. I have another one. I mean, it's almost cow to have three of those in your deck. But RNG is bliss me, I guess. But I still lost to the crew. So, I mean, the deck is not perfect, but I did have some good rolls, I guess. Does he have another Sacrius Foot? That would be amazing. Okay, that deals 3 damage. Okay. So that has to be a fake Dofus, right? Sixteen cards in my deck, sixteen cards for him remaining as well. Good plays, good plays, my man. Ooh. Like I said, fake Dofus. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Considering he has three Dofus left, he yeah, hasn't destroyed any of mine. And I feel like I might be able to push through. 15 cards each now. Yes, how many? Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. There's Grambo. You're not destroying my Dofus that easily. Four 
14 cards each. This is getting a bit dicey. So he, he's going to summon the bandit again on this square just to destroy my, my last uh, curse prism. Never mind. Does he? Oh. Would he? Do you think? No. No, right? It, it can't be. Sure. I mean, surely you wouldn't have another another light speed, right? That would be amazing if he did. I mean, considering I have three knowledge of dolls, so he he has to have he has to have more than one light speed. Man, that is tough. Okay. Increase the attack. Okay. And a stitch. Two cards left. So weird. I mean, I don't understand his plays. Two damage, another two damage. Remember, I have Grambo and I have Rooted Stall. That monster is definitely pushing through this turn. I do have to be wary of the Sacria. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's definitely pushing through. Oh, that was that was a bad uh, choice of a curse card. Oh wait. Am I pushing through? Grambo is 5, 2, okay. Grambo. And... Like he's in. And read it, right? I should be pushing through. Do I win though? That's the question. Do I win? Yes! GG! GG! Phew, that was a tough match. I mean, how long was that? 20 minutes long. Oh my word. GG. So, so far we got like one loss out of five games. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you completely hated the video, give it a thumbs down. Cheers guys. Bye.